Okay, for next step, we will need one piece 7 by 10 and we will need two pieces 7 by 1. So for us to create packets, we will need more cardstock. I'm choosing I'm choosing to use black cardstock just to keep up with my design. So the piece 7 by 10 we will actually need to glue two pieces of cardstock to wrap this because what we're gonna do we're gonna wrap 7 by 10 we are also going to wrap the sides I can't use just one piece because the joint it's gonna come right in between the scores and we can't have that so I'm just gonna overlap it just a little bit and I am gonna glue these pieces just like that leaving one eighth of an inch in between those um, that chipboard so let me glue all of that together and I will show you what we will do next okay I glued the pieces and now I will trim that extra stack that extra uh, card stack from both sides. Just like that. And now I'm going to make a little angle on all four sides. Now we will score both sides we will fold this over I will run the spatula against the edges on both sides And we will glue this. Now, if any one of you watched the previous version, it was a little bit different. I think this will be the actually the easier way to do this. And I hope that's exactly what you think. Okay. So now we have this done. And this will be the front. So we could cover the inside with the paper and just trim it on the sides. I won't do that. What I will do is push it over here a little bit in between the chipboard. Again, work it, don't push it too hard because you don't want to cut this paper or this card stuck. I did that just so we can fold this. Just like that. Okay, so this 
will actually become the taller pocket. So for now we're going to put this on the side. So to wrap this, I will use the same type of paper as I used previously and I will have to join little piece over here also on the side. So this will be my top and I do have some shorter pieces left which I will use. So I will use my quarter inch tape just because I have a lot of uh, foil in here so the glue doesn't want to grab it that well. together like that so now we will glue this this is uh, I want to make sure that the butterflies are on the top so I'm going to position this way and now the joint because this is not uh, something that will be fold over constantly so I don't mind having this a little bit closer to the edge in here but we don't want to we don't want to put it right on the where the um, chipboard space is in here so I'm gonna shift that just a little bit maybe maybe half an inch just like that and we will glue this entire piece okay the glue kind of splashed everywhere on the paper that's okay so I'm gonna glue this like that let's make sure that all that is stuck And now, this is the top, this is the bottom. The bottom cannot be really any wider, the paper. You don't want anything more than one inch, preferably three quarter of an inch. So we will trim this paper. Just like that. And now we will score on all four sides. Like that. I need to pay attention where my top is. So this is the top and this is the bottom. So now let's fold this over. Just like that. And I will 
from the spatula all around to make those nice edges. Okay, so this is the top. This is going to be the bottom. Now, on the side, you want approximately half an inch of the paper. So I will trim that off. So now, we will miter these corners. all four of them now this is going to be the top this is where you have more paper so what we're going to do right here where we have the two chipboards joining we're going to cut out little v-shape on both sides like that so now we're gonna glue the top For the bottom, we will also cut out a little V-shape. Okay, so now we're going to try to fold this. Don't force it, just work it like this to stretch this paper. We don't want the paper to crack. Just like that. Okay. So this will become our back pocket. And this will be the front packet just like that so it's going to be one on the top of the other so now we will glue all of this together so we will start by putting this piece up just like that And you see this side right here, we are overlapping both of them. So this two inch piece will be glued just like that. So let me apply glue right here. So basically we are creating layers. And now we will glue just like that. So 
So I want to make sure that I can close it on the side and on the bottom of the paper to square this off. So I want this to get stuck just like that. So now if I fold this just like this you can see that we are creating this packet right here and this is the part that we will glue last so right now we will concentrate on this side right here so I'm gonna apply the glue and I'm gonna glue this just like we did on the other side to the corner like that so now I will squish this I want to make sure that this all adheres have to hold this just a tiny bit just so that glue grabs it if not we can probably clamp it on all sides so this has to get stuck now you see in here we have our packet for the pencils so what i'm gonna do on those two flaps i am gonna apply glue like this and now, when I push this, now we are creating our packet right there. So, I will run the bone folder from the top to the bottom. On both sides to make sure that everything is glued and we just have to wait a little bit because we need to make sure that this glue really grabs it and you can turn it on the other side and kind of push it through push it on this and help that glue grab it so as you can see in here we have created one packet here and two packets on the bottom. Now if I turn this around, we got a whole bunch of papers in here and that's exactly what I wanted to create because that will be glued to the bottom of our folder. So what I'm going to do right now is apply glue in here I'm going to fold this over and we need to make sure that this sticks. I will do the same thing on this corner in here. We will apply glue and we do want to make sure that this will get stuck. just like that so now these sides they should be glued these flaps should be free because they will be glued into the cover so basically we were making sure 
that those two pieces get glued together to the side. So now, when I bring our piece towards me, and I hope you can see it, so I got those are the two sides, the top, and I have this whole thing open. This whole entire piece will be glued to the base on the back and it's difficult for me to show it but I try to show it this way maybe so if this is the back panel this will be glued to the back and also to the bottom just like this so I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you this maybe I will because I need to position this in center so I am gonna apply glue into this short flap I am gonna apply glue into this flap and the same thing on the opposite side just like that I will pick it up and I'm putting glue on the bottom. And now I will position this just like that on the middle. Now when I open the bottom, I do want to make sure that this is nice and tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this over so it actually stands because I do want to make sure that the bottom gets glued. Glued and stays in position. Now to help the gluing process, you can actually squish the back pieces just to make sure this is stuck to the back on both sides. Just like that, but don't worry about the back too much because if we need to put more glue we will definitely do that but we do want to make sure that the bottom is nice and stuck so I will just push it from the bottom to make sure that all of that adheres I think this is good so now I'm gonna turn this around I'm gonna put this front just like that and now I want to make sure that that back is glued so if I need to apply more glue that's really no problem on both sides so now when I flip this over I still want to run spatula or something right on the inside where those flaps are because I do want to make sure that this is all glued and I don't know if you can see it I'm running from inside just like that so I think this is all stuck and I will leave this just like that for maybe half an hour or so I want to make sure that all of that is 
really stuck that everything adheres. So I will be back in half an hour or so. Okay, so everything is glued and stuck. As you can see, here is our um, little separation. And that's to put pencils or something like that. So now we need to decorate the sides. So in my prototype, I had placed on this panel a little calendar and I will do the same thing in here. So I bought this one at the dollar store. So, so I can remove the first page and we can place this calendar right here on this side. Now I think I'm gonna make this one removable just so if you have any different calendar or something else you want to place there it's gonna be easy for you to do. So I do have I do have leftover piece of paper um, it's the same paper that I was actually covering the inside so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this calendar place the paper like this when I turn it around I will fold one side just like that so let me just make sure that this is laying flat and straight like this so now I am going to pull it just a little bit to make sure that this paper is going to be loose so you can actually put in or remove your calendar just like that I will remove it and just squish it a little bit to make sure it's straight I will put this back just like that now this piece is really big so I will try to turn this so you can actually see it so here we will position this calendar so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place glue right here all around but I'm not going too close against the edges because I don't want to glue our calendar and I will place it just like that on the middle now I will slide this out and I want to make sure that this is really stuck And now you're going to be able to place your calendar on the inside just like that. But because the glue is still fresh, I will just remove it for now. But at least we have our packet done. So let me bring this back. And on the right hand side, I had little file folder in here so I will make one also in here so to make that file folder I will use this stack on both sides uh, for the accordion so I will 
pre-cut this. I want the packet to be approximately um, five and a half inches tall. So for now I will cut just one piece. And I will score this one piece every half an inch from the beginning to the end. So two and a half, three, three and a half, four, every half an inch all the way to the end. I don't want this accordion to be too big, but I don't know how many pages, uh, not really pages, how many folds I need. So I will just start folding until I think it will be enough. And I really don't want this to open up too much. Okay, I think this will be enough. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven folds. So let me tell you how many inches that is. That will be four inches. So if you cut your paper five and a half by four that should be just about right so I will cut this one also to four so both sides are going to be the same so let me fold this over. Just like that, back and forth. Here you go. So we have one side and second side. It will be just like that. So now I want the front of the file folder. Um, I want to use this. So the height of the accordion is five and a half. So we will cut the paper to six inches. And actually I'm gonna cut to seven maybe even eight and that's only because I do want to capture design on this paper so I'm gonna turn around and I'm still gonna trim to six and a half overall dimension but I did that because this is what I want to have on the front. So I want to use this side. So I want my packet to be, I will make it, I will cut it to 8 inches, 9 inches. So the packet is going to be Actually, we will cut it to 8 inches, but let me just trim this a little bit. And that's only because I want to keep the design on the front. So I'm going to make the packet 7 inches wide.
So if I want this to be the top, I need to score the bottom at six inches and five and a half. So now we're gonna fold this over. Just like that. And our accordion, we will glue it this way. The first side, this is the single one, we will glue right at the edge. Just like that. So let me apply the glue. And I will line this up. Let me squish this so it's actually stuck. We're gonna take the second accordion and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we will basically glue it just like that. Okay, so we're gonna line this up. I don't want to see any of that accordion paper on the front. So you see this will be the packet. So now we will glue the bottom of the accordion to that half an inch. And it's not that comfortable, but we will manage just like that. Just hold it for a second or two until that glue gets stuck. And you can kind of squish it from the inside. And we're going to do the same thing on this side, just a little bit. We will squish this. Okay, this will be our packet. Just like that. So now, until this really gets stuck, I will cut, we will make it closure for this one. So this piece is 7 inches, so I do have paper, 7 inches, we will cut it at 7. this to go about like this okay so we will cut this down to three inches now if this is my top then I will score at half an inch and one inch. We will fold this over. Just like that. I will round the corners. right here. Now I 
have to position this different way because I will have to squish it from the inside. So I think I'm going to apply double sided tape because then I don't have to wait for the glue to dry. So I will apply it on all three sides. Okay, let's make sure the taste tape adheres. And over here, I'm just running against my fingers to make sure this is stuck. So now we can remove the backing. And now when you position this, try to position straight and then pay attention to your accordion because you want to make sure that accordion is being glued straight. Okay. So now I will make sure that this is all stuck on all sides all right and we do have our accordion style packet we will put the cover and again I think I'm gonna use just double sided tape I think double sided tape it's gonna hold right away but before I do that I will just trim a little bit from the first score to the end And now we will apply the tape. Let's remove the backing. Okay, and now you do want to make sure that you overlap evenly and you have enough space to put your Velcro. And now let's make sure this adheres. Here you go. That's going to be our packet. I will apply Velcro. just like that okay so we have I'm gonna put the calendar right here
so we have the calendar, we have the packet, we have our two packets right here. Now I have two little spiral notebooks, little mini ones that I purchased from Dollar Tree store and we will place them right here on both sides, on this side and that side. But I also want to make them removable and I do have a little bit of my paper left so I will make this really easy just cut it in half just like that so it doesn't matter whatever leftover paper you have you can just recut and what we're gonna do on both of them I'm gonna turn this around and just the same way as we worked on the calendar we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna fold it on one side I will pull it a little bit because I want to make sure that you can freely um, replace your uh, notebook. So we're going to do it just like that. And just because I don't want to wait for glue to dry, I will just apply double sided tape. So you want to make sure that you put the tape right at the edge at the end because you don't want that portion to be loose and we're gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing onto this one but I will do it off camera so now I want you to see what I'm doing so let me turn this around just like that and I'm gonna position this one right here like this so let me remove this double sided tape and I'm gonna position this just like this trying to make sure that everything is positioned straight and I will just squish it from the inside so this one is done and I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side